A decade's worth of Brisbane's music posters are now on display at the State Library of Queensland in the cut copy exhibition. It covers the period 1977 to 1987 and the collection has been put together with the help of Dr John Willsteed from iconic Brisbane band The Go-Betweens. I grew up um, on the, in the northern suburbs. I was born in the late 50s and so I really grew up through sort of hippie times or something like that. By the time uh, the late 70s came around and I was ready to cut my hair off and, and uh, join the ranks of the angry young people. Queensland had been suffering under the the sort of pressure of the Bjelke-Peterson government mm -hmm. for a, a number of years. That was a, that really kind of played out in the way uh, young people were treated by the government and by the police and so there were a whole range of different um, ways that expressed itself but certainly when we're talking about this exhibition and the late 70s and uh, that sort of punk subculture. Yeah, the, the government was absolutely against this sort of stuff and the, and the police were the arm of government that uh, made sure that this sort of stuff didn't go according to plan. You know, so a lot of these things were, a lot of these uh, shows were uh, closed down by the police or the you know, a lot of people special were, branch. Yeah, special branch were involved, a lot of people were arrested. And this is actually all about um, creativity and culture and music making. It really says how ineffectual in a way the government and the police were because they didn't stop this thing. I can't stop looking at them. Um, <laughs> Oh, it's all very eye-catching, I mean... <laughs> Lots of colour. The making of them, you know, was uh, a bit like the making of music and a lot of other stuff at that period of time. Giant machines had become smaller, so uh, access to, say, photocopiers was quite simple. In the 1950s or 60s, that, it was more difficult, but by the late 70s, access to uh, Super 8 cameras and, and um, the developing of film was reasonably cheap. You know, this is before desktop publishing and so there was a lot of people using bits of paper, cutting out bits of paper, there was a lot of pen pen and, and pencil on paper and colouring in. So it was a very manual craft and a lot of these posters are screen printed and so screen printed once again is a very manual process. You know, you've got a You've got to uh, make a screen and then squeeze ink through it with a squeegee, you know, mm -hmm. so it's, it requires physical effort. And some of them, like this Birds of Tin poster up here mm -hmm. by Peter Loveday, they're very, there were very few of them made. There are probably only about 30 or something because the way he made them was by cutting out stencil, paper stencils with scissors, screen printing through the paper stencils. And as you squeeze the ink through the paper, the edges of it start to dissolve. Mm. And so the paper gives up after a while. And so you can only get 30 or 50 prints out of it. Some of them came from the artists and uh, some came from people who had collected them at the time before they'd even gone up on walls. Right. So they might have been helping out with the screen printing, so they pocketed a couple. Um, but a lot of them uh, have been on walls, then been taken down. And having been a collector of these sorts of posters way back then, I think I used to keep things because I like the look of them. Mm -hmm. Other people keep them because the moment is really important to them. That night was a really big night for yeah. some reason. So it's a, there's a personal connection mm -hmm. to, the, to the night in question. They came from, like I said, all sorts of different people, maybe about 40 different people, right. 400 posters. And um, they are, you know, they're all in different kind of states. So this poster, when it first arrived at the library, you can see the the, uh, the edge at the top, the dark edge, was what the shape of the poster was. So the whole top of it had had rotted away, and so that's been restored by the library now, um, so that it's uh, it's it was backed up with paper and then re-glued, and it's it's a really beautiful job, and it's it's made the structure of the poster stable, so it lasts for a lot longer now. Provocation's part of all of this. Uh, the more political posters are, are pretty pointed, you know, no, there's nothing subtle about them. That women's dance, for instance, Control was an organisation that, um, because, it was in, because it was illegal to obtain an abortion in Queensland, women had to travel over the border, so Control was an organisation that raised money to help women go down over the border, get abortions, come back again. Yeah, there's a lot of politics in the posters. It's inevitable, really. Just in this little area here, there are two posters, this, this red one and that red one, which are both uh, screen printed on computer printout paper that was probably stolen from work. This is just a really simple photocopy. That's a photocopy that somebody's then splashed some ink on. And this one here, similarly, it's a photocopy that somebody's drawn on with crayon. This one, which is quite different again, a piece of really beautiful artwork by Shane Knight, all hand-drawn with, you know, either brush or pen, and then uh, reproduced in any kind of section of the, of the exhibition. You can grab stuff that 
has really low production values. You know, when I say low, I mean simple and mm. simply made, up to things which are really finely made and they're, 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 they're works of art, you know. I think everything's a work of art, of course. Now before you go, as well as checking out the collection in the library, you can also head onto the website and check out the posters and photos online. With the added bonus that you might actually be able to help figure out where some of these photos and videos are from. Were you there at the time? Do you remember the bands? We'd love to hear from you and so would the State Library, and you're more than welcome to add your experiences and memories.